Hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for clicking on this video. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, the link is below. Let's jump in. All right guys, so we're gonna jump back into investing. This is one of my favorite topics. I'm a numbers guy, super passionate about this stuff, enjoy talking about it, so I wanna share some of my knowledge with you guys to get started investing and uh, build some wealth for yourself and some assets, so let's get in it. So remember, there's only four things to invest in. Yourself, businesses, a business, either yours, your, like starting a business, uh, the stock market, and real estate. We're gonna talk about the stock market today. Remember, this is not financial advice, this is just for educational and entertainment purposes only. I do recommend going with a financial advisor to get more information and starting your own accounts. Also, remember to smash the like button. Let's do that right now. 2.5 seconds and it's free. So what is the stock market? The stock market refers to the collection of markets and exchanges where regular activities of buying, selling, and trading occur on a day-to-day -day basis. And this has happened with shares of publicly traded companies. There can be multiple stock trading venues within different uh, regions and countries. So that's not a, a rare thing. So usually there's multiple stock exchanges, as you will, in a single, in a single country or area. All right, I'm gonna go over the two biggest market exchanges in America and then go over my favorite fund, one of my favorite funds within the stock market. So the first one is the New York Stock Exchange. This is a stock exchange in New York City, and it's probably the biggest one in the world. So you may have seen on the news where they'll be standing up in the New York Stock Exchange, clapping and uh, introducing a new stock or a new IPO, initial public offering, which is when a company goes live, basically for the first time, and the general public can buy their shares. Now Matt, in English please. Basically it's a really big market that exchanges equities which means the value of shares within a company on a day-to-day -day basis. Then the other large market in New York City is called the NASDAQ. This is a global electronic marketplace for selling and buying equity. The NASDAQ was created by the National Association of Securities Dealers, aka NASDAQ, to help investors trade securities in a speedy and transparent way and this was founded on February 8th, 1971. So basically those are the two biggest places to buy and sell stock within the US. Uh, they're both in New York. You know, I'm sure you guys have heard of Wall Street. Kind of that's where they are. Most of the large uh, companies that buy and sell shares. And basically all these companies, you know, put the shares in the market because they do an IPO, initial public offering. So they want to sell shares of their company to raise more capital or to uh, invest more in their company or build more buildings or whatever they do, whatever type of business they're in. And basically they share some of the profits with the investors, which is uh, the common folk like me and you. So one of my favorite uh, funds within the stock market is called the S&P 500 fund, which stands for Standard & Poor 500. This is the 500 largest companies within the United States of America. So in this fund, you can basically invest whatever amount of money, you know, usually it's like 50 or 100 or thousand dollars. It's not crazy amounts of money, but you start slowly and you can invest in the fund and you're basically investing in 500 of the largest companies. And then therefore you get profits and a little bit of a share of the profits from all those uh, successful companies. This could also be an index fund, but uh, S and P 500 funds are great because they're very safe. They're very stable and they give you a solid rate of return every year. So with the S&P 500 fund, you're very diversified, which basically is a fancy word for saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, spread them out. Diversify your portfolio. Very fancy terminology used in the financial world. But basically it means, don't put all your eggs in just this basket, spread them around. Because if that egg gets cracked in that one basket, uh-oh, you got an issue. So yeah, guys, basically that's what the Overall stock market is a place where companies exchange their stock and the stock's basically shares within the company that they sell to the public. So basically that's what happens with it. It's not super complicated. They just use a lot of fancy words and lingos to try to make it complicated. 
All right guys, so there's a couple things I want you guys to take away from this video. Number one, there's only four things to invest in, yourself, the stock market, a business, and real estate. Today we talked about the stock market. Number two, or the main two are the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. So those are the two that you can go buy your securities at. And then one of the best funds within the stock market, which or is within the New York Stock Exchange or within the NASDAQ, is the S&P 500 fund which basically lets you invest in the top 500 companies in America. And who wouldn't want to do that, right? So all the top 500, you can invest in. And then also the third thing I want you to take away from this video is that anybody can invest and you should, you should start investing sooner than later. This is kind of the overview of the whole stock market and then we'll kind of keep going in more in depth about what to do next and the first step. So we had the rules of investing and now we have the overview of the stock market and then we'll kind of go into how to invest in the stock market. I would say of the four type of types of investments, I think the stock market is the easiest to get into. Um, real estate can have uh, higher cash barriers, like you need more money to get in. And then you can always invest in yourself, you know, buy a book, you know, do stuff like that. I'm gonna do a specific video on how to invest in yourself and then uh, invest in a business, basically starting a business, which we all know how hard it is to actually start a business and grow it. It, it can be done and you should do it, but, a great way to make your money work harder than you are working is the stock market. That's the kind of the first thing I would suggest to invest. We'll have more videos going on, you know, how to start investing, you know, step by step. This was kind of an overview of the stock market, and then we had the rules of investing first, both valuable videos, and I hope you guys find some value and uh, entertainment in these two videos, in these couple videos. So I'm excited to keep going. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop there, and we'll definitely go into more. But uh, those are kind of the overview of the whole stock market. And uh, we're definitely gonna have more videos in the future about how to keep going and uh, start investing, okay guys? And, and, I'm de and definitely the videos will start from zero dollars, zero dollars, right? We're gonna start from zero all together. We're all starting from zero. So there's a hundred dollar Visa gift card giveaway on this channel. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram below. Uh, I've met quite a few people out in the uh, in my day to life, day life actually recently. It's kind of been exciting. They come up to me, they're like, "Oh, you know, I've seen you on YouTube or whatever," and I was kind of shocked because I don't really have that much that big of a following or anything yet. So, very cool, you know, working hard, uh, you know, between all the things I'm doing, lots of different ventures. So, uh, yeah, it's exciting, and uh, I'm excited to keep going. So, uh, guys, let's uh, hit the subscribe button. Let's get to a thousand family members, and let's get that hundred dollar. Visa gift card giveaway going. Um, yeah, so, all right guys, that's all for today's video. Remember to continually work to become the best version of yourself. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.